Hello everybody, I am Exploding Apple. Welcome back to Undertale. Uh, why am I- why I'm here, you ask? Well, I think I'm here just for a bit of a surprise. Where will I go today? The waterfall. Then we're off. The reason why I'm going back to the waterfall is because I think I kind of missed something back at the waterfall. And it's something really interesting relating to Undyne. Tra-la-la. If it's hot or cold, you can count on me. Okay, here we go. We should be here. Awesome. Come again sometime. Tra-la-la. So I think he's gonna stay there, right? Okay, here's Undyne's house. I remember. So it's right here, I think. Hi, Papyrus. What's up? Oh, the human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! Will you hang out? Yes. Okay, stand behind me! Psst. Make sure to give her this! She loves these! <laughs> I don't think she likes Bones Papyrus. Hi, Papyrus! Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi, I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? Uh, okay. Here, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you, on their own! Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> I don't think she likes Bones Papyrus. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun- Don't leave me here with Undyne, are you kidding me?! Why'd you jump out the window? What the heck? Oh, this is really awkward. So, why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right. Yeah. Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fr fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You are the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you. <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be... Besties! I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge! Why don't you have a seat? Yay! One time, Alfie's, uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie s seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. It's a sink, it is a teacup in the shape of a fish. The oven is some top of the line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home-cooked with the fire magic. 
There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives. Tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Refrigerator. I hate cold food. So Alfie's fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge. The world's greatest invention. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans welded swords up to ten times their size. Right? Uh, I don't know. True? Heh! I knew it! When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alfie's built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. But she's smart, huh? Why did Papyrus just jump out the window? I can't believe he leaped through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing. <laughs> What's in your room? You want to see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. Sit down and progress? Wait, I want to talk to her first. It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? Sit down and progress? Yes. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set! What would you like? Hey! Don't get up! You are the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! Um, why not just point at what you want? You can use the spear. Aim with the arrows, uh... Hot chocolate. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Okay, how about... Uh, sh uh, sugar. That's sugar for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like, the ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are there ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Uh, no. That's what I thought. Soda. Oh, soda. Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. Heh, <laughs> that's fine. I think soda's gross too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. Huh? Why do I have it? And what can I drink? Oh, tea box. Tea, huh? Coming right up. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Okay, that's all done. It's all done. <laughs> I just love the sound effects it makes. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of a strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea? That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies! Sort of. You know, I was pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. 
I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never some I've never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm one who gets the trained dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I could ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look at He's supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And he's not here to have it. You'll have to ha you'll have to have it for him. What? <laughs> what the heck? That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking! Which means, if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine! <laughs> Afraid we're gonna be best friends! Oh god! What? <laughs> Let's start with the sauce! Jesus! Envision these veg vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists! How will you pound? Strong! You punch the vegetables with, at full force. You knocked over a tomato. Yeah! Yeah! Our hearts are uniting against e these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn! Yeah! Holy crap, Undyne. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... We add the noodles! Homemade noodles are the best! But I just buy store brand! They're the cheapest! Nyaaaaaah! Uh, just put them in the pot! How will you put them in the pot? Fiercely! You throw everything in the pot as hard as you can, including the box! It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah! I'm into it! All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Press C to repeatedly stir. Stir harder! 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 Ugh, let me do it! <laughs> <laughs> That's the stuff! Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat! Let the stovetop symbolize your passion! Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire! Ready? Don't hold anything back! Hold right to turn up the heat. Oh. Hotter! Hotter! Darn it! Potter! Wait, that's too... Uh-oh, I burned her house down. That's not good. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, Undyne. Ah, man. No wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. 
And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. What? I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I... I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All... All out on both sides. It's the only way I regain my lost pride. Now, come on. Hit me with all you got. Yeah. Show me what you've got. Do your worst. What's the matter? Scared? What the hell is the holdup? Come on already! It's getting hot in here! Attack. That's it. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. What? <laughs> what? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh. <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharinity shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're just a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems you and Asgard are fated to fight, but knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll just have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you needed me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Well, that went well. Uh, <laughs> okay then, uh, that was really fun. I guess for the next episode, I'm going to be working on the quest with Metaton. I don't know if I still want to keep hanging out with Undyne or Papyrus, because I want to beat this game. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!